I'm Ant Man. With a Black Panther shirt on. <laughs> Alright, I'll probably use that for a, a sketch later on. Um, what is up, Posse? My name is Will Bromick, and welcome to another edition of The Spoiler Room. Today we're going to be going into more detail about Sony's Venom. Uh, just to... And, uh, like I said, and uh, just for your own warning, this is obviously going to contain spoilers. I'm going to go into more detail. If you have not seen uh, the movie, uh, then I highly recommend that you go see Venom before you go and watch, before you watch this video. Alright, so basically the reason that the symbiotes come to Earth is because they want to repopulate, they want to take over the human host, human hosts, because they need to take over a human host in order to survive, and basically they want to do it so they can repopulate and take over our world, which is basically the goal of the, the main villain Riot, who takes over the uh, scientist bad guy. Um, but, uh, hmm. One thing that makes things a little weird is that Venom originally wanted to take over the world to two. But, uh, he originally, but now, but then he wanted to stay. Don't know exactly why. But uh, apparently it's to, like, you know, build up the relationship between Eddie and Venom. And I don't really mind it all that much, but like TJ said in the spoiler free review, it took way too long for us to actually get Venom. We don't get him until, I don't know, the 30 minute, 45 minute mark. And uh, Eddie Brock in the very beginning was a complete jackass. I mean, uh, he interviewed the scientist guy and, it ended up, and he was being a complete jerk and it ended up costing him not only his job, but his then fiance his job, and then it costed him their relationship. And then she ended up going out with a doctor. Um, I don't know, this just, I have mixed, I still have mixed feelings about this movie. I mean, I like it more than I dislike it, but I know it's not very good. Um, oh jeez, uh, I need uh, some backup on this. Uh, Captain Flick, what did you think of Venom? I liked it fine. But I guess I have to say the main problem with this movie would have to be that Venom said that his weakness are things that make a lot of noise and uh, fire, which kind of makes uh, the climax a little pointless because uh, the scientist and Riot are going into the rocket to get the other symbiotes and uh, it ends up blowing up and Venom ends up dying in the fire, but he ends up not dying for some reason. You know, that's actually a good uh, question. Because in the end, when Venom and Riot are facing each other and they blow up the rocket, uh, Venom disappears. He disassembles uh, himself from Eddie. And he somehow comes back. Which makes a little, no, little to no sense. And... Another thing that actually got me a little bit intrigued was the end credit scene. And not only that, we also get an appearance from Woody Harrelson, and believe it or not, he actually plays a relatively big role in this. That's true. For those of you who have been keeping up with social media, there has been, uh, go there has been a lot of stuff going around saying that Woody Harrelson is going to play a part in this movie, and that part he plays Cletus Cassidy. For those of you who don't know, he ends up playing a big part in the Spider-Man universe. And Eddie is supposed to interview him, and uh, Cletus said, When I get out, and I will, there's going to be Carnage. Which is obviously a, a nice little tease for Carnage. I guess it's a, a, a nice little tease. Don't know, I guess we'll have to see how well this movie turns out when it comes to money. But, Captain Flick, do you mind seeing a, a follow-up to this? Oh no, I'm open to a sequel. Well, I think it depends on how much money this movie makes. Uh, I think it'll do fine. Uh, but, uh, unfortunately, it may not be as successful as most MCU movies, but I think oh, this will make enough money to warrant a sequel. But I had fun with it. It just wasn't uh, the greatest thing I've ever seen, but overall, I just didn't think it was horrible either. Yep. 
I think it's all a matter of how this movie does financially. But I think I can look forward to this, uh, to a, a possible sequel. And maybe we'll see if Spider-Man will end up tying into this universe. So, that's just about does it for this episode of The Spoiler Room. That's pretty much all we can talk about in this movie. If you do want to go see it, go check it out. It's not that bad. Except for some really bad pacing, uh, some cheesy jokes, and uh, a semi-okay uh, villain. So, until next time, see you later, posse.